Hi, this is Carlo DeVito, and I'm uh, reporting to you from the home office in upstate New York. Just got back from a great trip uh, to Long Island with my good friend Len Thompson, where we tried a bunch of different wines at three different wineries. Our first stop was Macari Vineyards in Long Island, uh, in the North Fork, with our good friend Gibson Campbell. Co-owner Joe Macari is considered one of the best vineyard managers on the North Fork, and it shows in their wines. Gibson Campbell showed us through the white wine lineup first. Despite the pandemic, Len Thompson and I did our level best, trying to remain especially distant during our tasting. It didn't stop us from taking jabs at one another though, but we had fun. Len and I don't agree on much, but we did agree on this Macare Sauvignon Blanc from Catherine's Field. It had a mixture of lemon lime and green apple, and it was just fantastic. They do one of the better East Coast Sauvignon Blancs I've tasted in a long time. A really great wine. So this is the 2019 McCary Vineyards Catherine's Field Sauvignon Blanc, which is grown uh, right behind us, really close to the Long Island Sound. It's probably my favorite wine um, almost every year, just because it's got such brightness, freshness, tends to pair with all my favorite foods that we get out of the bays out here. Um, and just like a really kind of unique fruit profile, just one of the top Sauvignon Blancs from Long Island every year. I raised my eyebrows at the Chardonnay and Chardonnay Reserve. Both were very well made. The next wine that Len and I also both really liked was the Horses Cabernet Franc Sparkling with nice bright cherry and strawberry. Really an impressive wine. Look for that one where you can. And then it was on to the reds. As usual, I like the Dos Aguas, one of the better table reds available anywhere on the island and an old standard favorite of mine. Next, I like the Cabernet Franc Life Force, which is made in an egg-shaped fermenter. It was just wonderful with bright fresh fruit and a nice lean back. Len and I did agree on the next wine, the Cabernet Franc Reserve 2015. For me, there was a big stewed strawberry and cherry, spice, tannins, lots of complexity, very well balanced. The red fruit lingered in your mouth for a very long time. Super impressive. Finally, we tasted the Macari Bergen Road. This is a Meritage style blend of classic uh, vinifera grapes. Uh, this has been their standard bearer red for more than a decade big and dark with raspberries and cherries and a little tobacco and spice. A nice finish to a great tasting. Look Ma, I shaved. Uh, I just wanted to uh, give a special shout out to a few people here. Uh, first of all, to Joe, Alexandra, and Gabriella. Uh, Makari, thank you so much. A uh, great day. Uh, number two, thank you so much to Gibson Campbell. Uh, just thank you for your time and your effort. Really appreciated it. And congratulations to Kelly Cook, the winemaker there. The wines just continue to be excellent. And of course, a big shout out and thank you to my good friend, uh, Len Thompson. Uh, he's just a great guy. We get on each other and everything else, but I love him to death. He's a crazy guy. We had a lot of fun touring wineries together. Great time and uh, enjoy. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Street Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.